Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Williams. I'm the assistant editor with The Wholesaler Magazine. I am at the ASA Young Executives Forum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I have grabbed Rogers, who is with Valley Supply Company, and he's also the vice chair of the event and the council. Um, Rogers, can you just, we weren't here this morning, so can you ah. kind of recap what you all's uh, council meeting was about? I know some special initiatives were discussed. Yeah, talking about special initiatives, we, uh, as a group, we decided to be a voice for Operation Rise and Conquer. And Operation Rise and Conquer is, is taking wounded vets and sending them to the Rocky Mountains in Colorado so that they can get a piece of their life back. And what I mean by that is they give an opportunity to relearn a skill, uh, to gain some self-confidence, and feel empowered, gain control over their life. And that's what we're really trying to do. And tonight, to help send somebody, it's $3,000 to send somebody. So tonight, we're having a raffle, we're selling raffle tickets, and we're going to send somebody, a wounded vet, to Operation Rise and Conquer, and a couple manufacturers might actually match what we raise. Oh, wow. It's really cool to hear. I know we've covered a little bit on Operation Rise and Conquer and what it's doing in the industry. Um, can you talk specifically about your role as vice chair with the Young Execs Council? Um, what have you done in the past year? So as a vice chair, uh, a lot of the things we've done is try to encourage engagement with uh, new people and existing companies that are part of ASA. So basically wholesalers that are members of ASA, we're trying to get them more engaged, as well as uh, manufacturer representatives okay. and manufacturers themselves. So we want to try to pull everybody together to provide them a networking opportunity to learn from each other. And big picture for the forum that over the next two days, what are you kind of hoping young execs are taking from this? What was the purpose? <laughs> uh, so what I would like, ideally would like out of this whole experience is that everybody here can take back with them a, a new contact, someone they met, and how to communicate better with other people. One of the big things that I think we lose in life is how we communicate with people. A lot of what we see is texting, emails, and yet there's a very personal connection in our industry that we tend to miss. It's that one-on-one, -on -one, making things happen, relying on each other, and realizing what other people's knowledge is can help us in our day-to-day -day lives. And getting young people involved in the industry is a big topic. Everybody's talking about it now, so I'm really interested to hear what you're doing with Valley Supply, what things that, um, you can share, maybe as best practices. Um, what are you all doing to get young people in there? Uh, so Valley Supply, uh, I took over in 2010 and realized after a couple of years we had some major breakdowns and basically people retiring and getting new people interested in our industry. Yeah. So what we've done is, is we've done some job fairs. So we'll, we'll hit up some local colleges. And then this past year we started a management training program. Okay. So what we're doing is we brought on someone right out of college and we gave him basically a system. This is what we're going to train you in. He's sitting at a desk. He's working in the warehouse. And then what we try to do is we try to take American Supply Association University courses and we try to tailor that to each position. So we'll put everybody through the company into some course that relates to what they're doing. And as the new people come in, we'll put them through whether it's a whole gamut of courses like branch manager, because that's what we're putting them through first. Okay. Well, thanks so much for taking the time. Let's get started about this event. Um, how, how have you been enjoying it so far? Uh, it's been a great event for us. Um, this event uh, started, um, I, I've been in, involved in the ASA Young Executives Division for uh, about seven years, and I've been on the Officers Council here for the last five years, and our event has grown year over year. When I first came on to, uh, to the, the, the council, we were at 50 people for this event for the Spring Forum, and now we're up to uh, 129 attendees, which is actually fabulous. Yeah. And you know, it's just a, it's just, it just tells you the amount of interest that's in the industry and the amount of young leaders that are coming throughout the uh, throughout the business. If you had to guess, what do you think a lot of that has to do with, like the growth? I think that uh, a lot of the growth is uh, there's a lot of companies that are turning over. Okay. Um, you have a lot of companies that are having uh, to replace uh, people that have been veterans that have been in the business for a long time. And uh, you're seeing more and more young people come into an exciting industry. Yeah. Um, it's not the most sexiest industry, but it's an exciting industry. And, uh, and, and we're seeing the resurgence of ASA as an organization. And uh, here we are, you know, and that just translates down to the Young Executives uh, Division. Absolutely. And um, what do you think you're going to miss most about, um, you know, your seven years of being a part of the council? Um, I'm going to, 
I'm going to still stay actively involved. Um, this is the best place to uh, network amongst uh, other wholesalers around the country, whether you compete with them or you don't. Um, th there's no, I've made a lot of friends within this organization, and I continue to keep going on as the years go by. Okay. And then um, in terms of a preview for tomorrow, what can, what can we expect? As a preview for tomorrow, um, we're going to be taking a tour of Incinerator's facility. Um, in Racine, Wisconsin. Uh, they've been a tremendous uh, industry partner um, along with LK for this year sponsoring our Spring of Spring Forum. So it's a lot of fun and we're very appreciative for their, uh, for their gener generosity. Okay, great, thank you so much. And he's gonna talk a little bit about why Incinerator decide to sponsor this year's forum. Well, we were fortunate. Uh, when we heard Young Executives was interested in coming to Milwaukee, we jumped at the opportunity because this group is really the next generation of our customers and the wholesalers and the people that are in the supply association uh, business and we really thought it was a great opportunity for us to help sponsor the event with LK um, who are members of ours down in the Chicago area and we we're fortunate that we were able to be a sponsor. And we're going on a tour of you all's facility tomorrow. Can you kind of give a tidbit or preview of what we're going to see or any unique things we're going to see? Well, Insyncrator has a lot of vertical integration in our product processes and manufacturing. And tomorrow you're going to see a flow through plant, which will allow you to see from cold roll steel that comes in the front one side of the door to a product that comes out the end. So we do the whole vertical integration from start to finish. Um, right there in Racine, Wisconsin, Made in America product, and we are very proud to show off our facility, which we will do tomorrow. Well, thanks so much. Today, we just went through Rob's uh, great pre uh, presentation on decision making and selling and buying. And um, first question uh, is, why why, uh, why did you get started with this, this research, your specific research on habits and relating that into buying and selling? All right, so that's a great question. And what happened was I always was curious as to why some salespeople did better than other salespeople. And it led me down the road to neuroscience in three areas, decision-making, creativity, and communication. And when I started to research that, I recognized there were huge applications based on the latest findings of what they're doing in brain research and what selling is all about. And what I've done is connected those two together. Okay, great. And then um, second question is, uh, why do you think people in, in our industry should be taking this process more seriously and incorporating it into their work? Yeah, that's a good question. And I think the reason that they should take it more seriously is this. You know, for so long there's the myth that the salesperson is either a great salesperson or not such a good salesperson and that the old notion that that salesperson could sell ice to an Eskimo because they just have some innate talent. And all the research shows that that's not true, that you can absolutely develop your skills. It's skill acquired and by understanding the neuroscience, anyone can really, if they're willing to, put the energy into becoming a great salesperson. It's not something you're born with. It's not genetic. Yeah, great. Thank you so much.